Josh Ellsworth with Stalls TV and this CAD Works Live tutorial we're going to teach you the basics of working with templates which is one of the most powerful features when you're working within the CAD Works Design Studio. I'm logged into the CAD Works Design Studio online and I can see in my left navigation there's a templates option. To get started click here. At that point, the entire library of CADWORKS templates will load. This includes templates that come automatically with the system, loaded under the template submenu in the left navigation, as well as files that you create because you can create and save your own templates within CADWORKS. Let's start with the basics and work with the templates that are created for you. You can scroll through a variety of folders here in order to select your template style that you like. And of course, this is just a place to start because you can edit these templates or layouts to whatever you'd like them to be. So we'll go to the sports category and look up softball templates. You can see there's a couple layouts within softball. If I click on soccer, uh, there's a few more choices here. Um, so we'll select a design from the soccer templates. And in this case, uh, let me select this soccer template. After you select it, you can either click open or you can simply double click on the template of choice. Once the template is selected, it will load into your uh, design screen, and at that point you can edit any part of the template you like. Of course, the team or group you're decorating for is probably not varsity soccer, um, so I can double-click varsity. Upon double-clicking, it'll launch the text editor for that specific piece of text that I've selected, and you'll notice that the effects stack is already applied to the text. At this point, I can change the text to whatever I'd like it to be. It will generate a live preview in the screen. I can also make a font change if I would like. There are a variety of fonts that you can select from within CADWorks in the font folder system. Select the font you like and click on open. You can change the fill color of the text. Uh, for instance, if you don't want it to be red, I can click on the fill color. Let's change it to green. Click OK. And at that point, I can do a variety of other options to the text, which is selected down in my film strip, such as character spacing. So if I want those letters to be a little closer together, I can click the minus button on the character spacing couple times it'll start to pull everything in a little bit tighter for me until I'm happy with the result. At this point you can also select the different effects within the film strip so if I select the envelope um, that, uh, that has already been applied I can uh, make any changes I'd like to the, to the envelope or I can remove it and add another one. Um, we'll show you how to do that. If I don't want this envelope I just select it and click on remove effect at that point I can uh, add another effect in if I'd like. So perhaps I just want this to be a standard arch. I go to my arch folder and apply an arch. Click OK. And it will apply that effect to the stack down here. You also notice there's a contour effect added which is the outline um, around my design here. And you can continue to add effect upon effect until you get the desired result. Once you're happy click OK. Cancel out the font menu and it'll drop that piece of text within your screen where it's interactive where we can uh, grab it and move it around to the proper positioning that we'd like. Um, at that point, you know, we could uh, change the bottom piece of text. We can change any colors that we want just by selecting those particular design elements and changing them. If I didn't want this soccer ball and I prefer something else, I can draw a box around the soccer ball and delete it and click on Add Clip Art in my left-hand navigation. And if I'm looking for another soccer design, I can type in soccer and search for that. And there's a couple pages of soccer designs here. If I just want a basic ball, I can select that. Click on Open. It will drop within my design. I can position it as I see fit and ultimately at this point I'm ready to size it according to what I want, send it to the cutter, 
or make any changes to it additionally, add additional pieces if I'd like. This has been a CADWorks Live tutorial by Stalls TV. Thanks for watching.